Hello everyone, I'm Nicole and today we're going to make a potato and mushroom gratin. It's a super simple potato casserole layered with potatoes, mushrooms, onions, and Gruyere cheese. It couldn't be simpler. No boiling of the potatoes, no pre-making the sauce. Our recipe today, of course, starts with mushrooms. Today I am using a mix of cremini and white mushrooms. And we want to thinly slice our mushrooms. I have about one pound here. I will have the recipe link for you listed in the description. To a large skillet, we're going to melt a couple tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is hot, we'll add our mushrooms all at once. Resist the urge to stir the mushrooms too soon. We're looking for the mushrooms to brown. Once the mushrooms have a little bit of color to them and most of the moisture has cooked out, we're going to add a few cloves of minced garlic, salt, and pepper. Once you add the garlic, you only need to cook it for an additional minute or two. And now we're going to remove the mushrooms to a bowl. And to the same skillet, a little more butter. And I'm going to add a couple cups of thinly sliced onion, we're going to add a sprinkle of salt that will help draw out the moisture in the onion and we're going to cook for about five minutes just until they start to soften. Now while the mushrooms are cooking it's a good time to mix together the sauce. So I have one cup of sour cream here and to that I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream, a teaspoon of kosher salt, pepper, and a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg. And we'll give it all a good whisk. I have a third of a cup of milk. And to that I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour and simply whisk together. I know you're thinking why not just add it all together? The flour will dissolve better in the cold milk alone as opposed to trying to combine it with the thick sour cream. A method to everything. And our sauce is ready. And to the mushrooms, we're gonna add our sauteed onions. And we wanna give them a bit of a mix. We wanna generously butter a three quart casserole dish. I'm using a red potato today. A lot of potato casseroles use russet potatoes, however I happen to like the waxy texture of a red potato for the casserole because the potato will hold its sliced shape just a little bit better. It's simply a preference, by all means, russets are good as well here. And I leave slicing the potatoes to the very end to avoid any unnecessary oxidization. I'm simply going to peel and thinly slice the potatoes. I find cutting them in half and placing the flat side down just gives a more stable surface to cut them thin. And I find placing the sliced potatoes in a paper towel lined bowl and dabbing them off just helps to take away any excess moisture. I've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and we're ready for some final assembly. So I'm going to toss in half the potatoes. And you really don't have to be too particular here. You just want an even layer. And then we're going to sprinkle the potatoes with half of the onions and mushroom mixture. And then we're going to top it with grated Gruyere cheese. I have six ounces in total, so we're going to add half of that at this time. And then we're simply going to repeat our layers. Gruyere cheese is really nice here because it has a little bit of a tang and it melts really well. And now we're going to pour our sauce evenly on the top of everything. And we don't want to waste any. We're just going to give the whole dish a little bit of a shake to settle everything down. And then we want to cover it tightly. And we're going to bake it for 45 to 60 minutes, depending on how thin you've sliced your potatoes. 
We'll check it at the 45 minute mark. Now you want to stick a knife in and test your potatoes. They should be just tender. If they're not, cover back up and cook for an additional 15 minutes. Once they're tender, we're going to remove the foil and we'll pop it back in the oven for an additional 20 minutes just to make sure the top is nice and golden and the potatoes are completely cooked through. And now that our potatoes are done, we once again have to cover them and let them rest for 10 minutes before serving. This allows the cheese and the sauce to firm up just a little bit for serving. Thank you for watching today. Potato and mushroom gratin is a wonderfully cheesy and flavorful casserole. Don't forget to subscribe and any comments or feedback are appreciated. We'll see you again.